Hi, this is Kayla from Walkie Talkie Speech Therapy. Thanks so much for joining today. Please subscribe as I am posting new videos weekly on tips and tricks to help your child learn speech and language. Today I am sharing my top 10 signs to teach your late talker. The first sign that I teach most of my kids is more. I teach that because it's really easy to find ways to use it. I want more food, I want more kisses, I want more bubbles. You can find lots of different ways to use it. So teach more, two hands together, and a touch. And then always reward with more of that item when you can. Next, I teach open. Open two hands together, and then opening like this, open. And I use that because I have a lot of toys that I bring to my sessions with my kids and I have them inside of a bin. And I always recommend my parents to keep toys in bins that their children need to ask for help to open. You can also use it with food. If you hand them um, food like applesauce and they can't open it, then that's an opportunity to practice open or a juice box, open. I also teach help. Toddlers who are late talkers are often very frustrated and uh, immediately turn to tantrums. Uh, so we want to give them a word or a sign and a word, help, to use in order to get that so they don't need to throw a tantrum, okay? So that's like a fist with a thumb up and you just pound it right into the other open hand. Help. Next is done. All done. It's just a little shake, shake, twist of your two hands up in the air. And I use that after every activity is done. And I'm also looking for my toddlers to tell me done before they throw a tantrum or throw a toy to indicate that they're tired of it. So it's that's fine if you're done with it, but you just gotta tell me, tell me done, all done, good telling me. For meal times, I use eat and drink. Eat is your hands touching together and towards your mouth, eat. And so I would use that every time that I'm using food and I would model, 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 and then eventually I'd be having them request eat that way. That way when they're hungry, they're not going to hopefully throw a tantrum and um, whine and complain until they get food. They're going to tell you directly, eat, eat, as well as drink. Drink is like you're holding a pretend cup. Drink, and you just tip it towards your face. Drink, just like that. I also teach my toddlers the sign stop. Now the real ASL sign is like this, is stop, but I teach my toddlers a real simple one. Stop, stop. Uh, I just modified it there and I do that because I find it's just easier and they're already frustrated when they're needing to say stop um, but I want to teach them something easy so that they can say stop rather than hitting or biting or throwing items when another child maybe a sibling has done something that they don't like. I also teach them again like this again so you take one hand and you just dive it into the other open palm again. Now that I've taught my toddler stop, I also teach them go. That's a really great concept, just stop and go, language concept anyways, but as well as maybe they want to go outside or maybe they want the car to go and that's how I use it. Last I teach my turn and my turn is just a little pat pat on their chest. Now I model it for them while I'm patting my chest and then I take their hand and I help them pat their chest my turn and that's to help them learn the reversal of the pronoun there and we do that with turn taking all toddlers need to be taught how to take turns but if they have a sign to tell you that they really want that turn then things will go much smoother and there will be less frustration thanks for watching my top 10 signs to use with late talkers i hope you found it helpful please subscribe to this channel comment, leave a question. I'd love to make a video in response to your question, as well as share this with someone who you know might find it beneficial as well. Thanks for listening to Kayla from Walkie Talkie Speech Therapy. Bye-bye.